This video is on graphing exponential equations and logarithmic equations. Okay, now exponential equations are easier. So we're gonna start with that. So you can see on the screen right now that I have three different exponential equations. Um, I have this one over here written larger because this is gonna be my parent graph. If I can figure out exactly how to graph this, then the other two are just shifts of it, right? This one's gonna move it to the left three, this one's gonna move it up three. Those are really easy. It's just a question of what the heck does this original one look like, okay? And you can graph anything, even exponentials, if you just make an XY chart. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in, I don't know, negative three and negative two and negative one and zero and one and maybe two. Okay, let, let's just see what, the, what happens. So if I put two into that, excuse me, if I put negative three into that equation, I get one eighth. If I put two in, I get one fourth. If I put negative one in, I get one half. Two to the zero is one. 2 to the first is 2, 2 to the second is 4. So let me plot these points, right? And you'll see exactly what this exponential graph looks like. So at negative 3, it's 1 eighth, and then 1 fourth, and then 1 half, and then 1, and then 2, 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6, 7. I didn't put this in the chart, but I think you know that 2 to the third equals 8. This is what the exponential graph looks like. And actually, now I kind of feel like maybe I should put the 3 in there. 3, 8. Okay. So that's what the original looks like. So now, if I just want to graph this one... Sorry, let me switch colors on here. It's more of a... Oh, you can't even tell. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to switch colors. All right, so I just have to take every one of those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots and move them, for this example, left three. All right, so let's see if I can do that. So that means the one that was at negative two, one eighth is now going to be a negative what? Three, wait, that's negative three, one eighth, excuse me. Left three is going to make it a negative six. One, two, three, four, five, I lost it. One, two, three, four, five, six, one eighth. And then it's one fourth and one half and one and two. One, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight. Okay, again, let me just kind of explain what I did. I took each of these dots that I'm highlighting in red and I moved them all left three units. That's literally all I did. Okay, so now for this graph, I'm going to take each of those highlighted dots and I'm going to move them up. That's what this is telling me to do, move them up three. So let me see if I can get those to show up for you. Negative three, and then up three. One, two, three. Negative two, that's where my dot is. One, two, three. Negative one, there's my dot. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three. Four, one, two. Nope. Two. I lost it. Four, one, two, three. There we go. There we go. All right. And you can see that this graph has been moved up three units. Okay. Now, something that I didn't put in, but I'm going to right now, and I want to make sure you understand. <clears throat> this graph, the original, is never going to go past this dotted line. Right? It is impossible to raise 2 to a power and have it come out to be negative. So that dotted line that you're looking at is an asymptote. Okay, These two that we created also have asymptotes. There they are. There's one right there. And this top one actually has been moved up three units. So the asymptote that it has is up three units. It's not at the origin. Okay, But they do have asymptotes. Okay, so now that you've sort of played a little bit with a base of two, 
Look what happens, because this is the probably the easiest way that I can teach this to you. If you know what the base of two looks like in an exponential graph, right? You've got this really handy dandy XY chart. The inverse of it, which is this function, all I have to do is switch these columns. Literally, that's all I have to do is what, the, what used to be the Y is now gonna be the X. What used to be the X is now going to be the Y. So I'm gonna switch colors. I'm gonna do these in red. And let me write your new XY chart. Okay, this is for the log graph, not the exponential. So I'm going to have 1 8 negative 3. I'm going to have 1 4 <clears throat> negative 2. I'm going to have 1 half negative 1. I'm going to write this a little more because I can't fit it all. Um, so my next one is what? 1 0 and 2 1 and 4 2 and 8 3. Okay, so let's plot these so you can see what the log graph looks like. So one eighth negative three. And then one fourth. And then one. Sorry. Hold on. I'm having issues. There we go. Sorry about that. One zero. Two one. One two three four two. Four, five six seven eight. One two three. There we go. Okay. So again, you're seeing all the dots, and I you're seeing me connect them. And you're also seeing this as my asymptote, right? Log graphs have vertical asymptotes. Okay, now once you know what that looks like, right? Once you have, again, what I'm calling the parent graph over here on the left, these are just being shifted, right? The one on the right is being shifted left three. The one on the bottom is being shifted up three. Right, and I picked those because up above we did the same sort of shifts. Okay, so left three is going to move my asymptote three as well. So asymptote is going to be here at negative three. Right, it's a little hard to see. Maybe I can make my pen slightly larger. Let's try this. There we go. All right, and then again, if you take every one of those ordered pairs and move it over three, You'll get something like this. Let's see. One, two, one, two, and three. Okay, again, it's been moved left three. <clears throat> and then this one is gonna be moving up three. So that means my asymptote is not gonna move. The asymptote is still here at zero. But up three is going to put the, the dots in different spots. So let me see if I can move those accordingly. So this used to be at negative, one eighth negative three is gonna be here at zero. One, one, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Again, sorry about my muttering. I have to figure out where the dot was originally and then move it. Okay. But the most important part is can you come up with the XY chart for the exponential graph? the base model, right? Nothing with pluses or minuses, literally just the base model. Then can you switch it so that the X is the Y and the Y is the X so you can get the parent graph for the log graph. And then lastly, can you move it around? All right, so take a look here. Sorry, my paper is really crooked and it bothers me so much. All right, so for y equals e to the x, this will require your calculator, okay? You're gonna make a little xy chart, right? Maybe plug in negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two, and figure out what these decimals are, all right? So I'm gonna pause the video, or actually I'm gonna pause and um, fill this all in so you can see it. So you should get dots like this. All right, and again, here's my XY chart that I came up with with a calculator. 
And then if, and again, I'm, I'm running out of time, so I'm not gonna do this, but if I wanted to graph this, I would move it down two units. Okay, and then here, since I've got log base three of x, right? If, if I was going to graph this, the first thing that I would have to do is to come up with an x, y chart for y equals three to the x, right? So like negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. This would be one ninth and one third and one and three and nine, okay? <clears throat> now if I switch colors, this, y equals log base three of x, this would be the x, y chart for that. It would be the two columns switched. One, zero, three, one, nine, two. Okay, so that would give me this parent graph. Once I've got that parent graph, I would use it here and move this left two units. Okay, let me know if you have questions. I'm happy to do any of these on the board for you.